Hey everyone, this is Grace. Hope you've been well. I am so thrilled to share this with you. Um, as many of you know, I like to shop on Etsy, in particular um, M. Antoni's shop. They are a husband and wife team, and um, their Etsy shop is called the Firefly Collective. And I first found them actually because from time to time I like to do a Jane Austen search, and their tote bags. Um, popped up and then as I was exploring their shop fell in love with other things right now they have Disney items they have little prince items they have Snoopy peanut stuff they have Doctor Who they have Nightmare Before Christmas they have gnomes and just a lot of stuff so um, and M and Tony are really great because they also take personalized orders and so they have been known to create, they get the copyright for it and then they create certain lines for say their coasters or, you know, I had asked about the little prince and M was able to do, uh, you know, a few series, um, or a few, um, designs for the little prince and so on. So, um, let me share with you what I ordered. Uh, many of these are. Christmas gifts and birthday gifts, you guys know, I think you're slowly starting to realize if you haven't already that when I say I really like tote bags, I really do like tote bags. Part of it is because I am a teacher and, you know, at school as well as at church. And so I am constantly putting things in bags and I have a certain bag designated just for church, just for crafting with my church kids. And anyway, so let me share with you um, what they sent. And I love this. How cute is this? Um, I think this is Theo, right? Maybe it's Teddy. I don't know. Um, I always forget which dog is which, but anyway, they have your thank you every time you purchase from a small business, an actual dog wags his tail. And Em and Tony have been um, going through a you know, tough time because um, their little one, um, their little furry one has passed away recently. And so, yeah, but um, such, I, I love this and I keep this card certainly. So we'll leave that here. So you can see the little doggy. <clears throat> and then um, they have here a business card. And this is a coupon code you can use. But M actually was nice enough to give me my own special coupon code. And so you get 10% off if you use, I think... It's, I forget, Gracie something. I'll put that down in the description bar. So it's their way of tracing if, you know, how many people um, order from this, you know, particular channel. I don't get anything, but, you know, just for their tracking purposes. Um, although I will say currently on Etsy, I think if you order like over seven or more items or something that discount of 10 percent gets kicked up to like 15 or 20 percent is pretty cool so kind of keep that in mind and then they wrote here grace we sure hope you like everything god bless em and tony and so this is their flyer fly collective postcard so um i did a preliminary look through these and i love everything that they did i mean they did such a great job all right, so first and foremost, let me share with you um, something. I was gushing and um, ooing over this, and I was sharing with M um, the great news about my health. You know, um, she is privy to some of the details of what's been going on. And I had told her that one of my goals um, is that for this Christmas, because last Christmas was such a blur, I was really not well last Christmas and so I think I barely made it to church for um, service no Christmas cards were sent out and um, so this is the first Christmas I will have after that big huge health scare and so I had told M that um, she doesn't know this aspect of it but I have a Charlie Brown Christmas tree with you know that little red um, ornament one of the things that I hope to do is from here on out, this year onward, is to keep record of how many years God has blessed me with after last year's scare. And so um, her ornaments are really light. 
Um, this is something that she and her husband Tony do, and it's made of aluminum. It's like a disc, and it's super light, um, and it's so sturdy. So part of the way that they describe it is that if you happen to you, you know, like decorate your tree and then it drops, then you don't have to worry about it shattering like some of our beautiful, you know, glass ornaments. And so take a look. How adorable is this? And this year I had even before this particular design came out, I had decided that I was going to decorate this Christmas with gnomes. I'm um, JC Penny was having these this great sale on gnomes and I had gift cards that I needed to use up at JCPenney so I ended up getting that and then as I was looking through her Etsy shop I saw this is this not adorable little gnomes and it says 2019 so I was telling her that I wanted to get this particular ornament to mark how many years of life God gives me after last year's you know big health scare which I'm still dealing with but that's okay and such a blessing right and so M was so sweet she said you know what now that I know this, this is going to be our Christmas gift to you. So thank you so much, Em and Tony, if you guys are watching this. This is going to be very special. You know, just not only the cuteness of it, but, you know, the fact that you guys are praying for me and that when I mark this as the first year that God's blessed me with, you know, after that health scare, it means a lot that you guys were the ones to gift this to me. So anyway, um... On their website, they have a number of things. I think they have like a Doctor Who ornament. They certainly have a Snoopy one of this particular design that they just put on their shop. And on the back, you could put your name and then 2019. And it's really cool. So, um, you know, just wanted to share this with you. The gnomes are there, though. Um, let's move this out of the way a little bit. So you can still see that. And then... M must have known because this is such an unexpected surprise. So thank you so much, M and Tony. Um, you guys know I'm going to be back on your shop, though, because I need a few more of these for gifting purposes for Christmas. Um, my sister likes to decorate her kitchen. And this I will be using for my kitchen um, come, you know, right after Thanksgiving. But I wanted to get her two of these so that she can have it for her kitchen so uh, what was so funny was i sent um her a message on instagram and i could tell she had read it but she was suspiciously silent like she hadn't replied to it yet <laughs> so i received this today and i can see why she was silent <laughs> oh thank you but i'm gonna need two more of these so i'm gonna have to you know get back on to instagram and tell you i need to order a few more <laughs> anyway um this one is a um okay so tina kappa if you are watching this and you do not want to get surprised stop watching all right having said that as a disclosure take a look they have a ceramic mug and i love this it's dog bucks coffee with little dog prints on it. But here's the thing. I had asked Tony, could you personalize this? And he said, let me give it a try. And I, you know, if he couldn't, I was totally going to be okay with him writing the name here. But take a look. Is this not cute? So excited. And it's in that like peanuts font. So as you guys know, our dear friend here on YouTube, Crafty Bean, likes her coffee. And so I thought um, I would get her this. She loves dogs, too. She knows I love, you know, Snoopy. And so it'll be a nice little surprise for her. <clears throat> Technically not a surprise now, right? She already saw it anyway. I'm so bad with, like, surprises. But my thing is that I'd rather surprise someone earlier with, hey, do you like this? Does this look okay? then try to surprise them with the actual gift itself and then find out that they didn't quite like it as much, right? Um, this is, again, you guys have seen this. It's the Flying Ace tote bag. And I had to order two more because there are two little kids at our church whose birthdays are in November. Um, these little boys hold such a little, you know, special place in my heart. And this is the little kid. He's four now. And this summer was his first time at VBS. And 
he was so proud during the last day of award ceremony when I was passing out the VBS completion certificates. I always laminate it just so that the kids feel a little bit more like, you know, the certificates are a little bit more sturdy and special. And when his name was called, he was really shy and we had to, you know, his mom had to prompt him to go up and get his um, VBS certificate. But oh man, when he received it and he was walking back, my sister took a picture of it and she's like, he's got swag. He was like totally strutting down and, you know, showing his mom his certificate. So I, I wanted to get him something with his name. And, you know, at that age, you know, when you have a bag that has your name, I think it's really special. So I um, picked one up actually for his older brother, whose birthday, I mean, they have the same November birthday. And because of Jonah's birthday, I think Em and Tony really were under... Um, some pressure to get all of this done. But yeah, isn't that great? So it's just, it's such an awesome service that they provide. And I'm so thankful that they personalize these tote bags. So <clears throat> I don't think my crafty colleague number two watches my videos all that much. I don't think, I hope not. But if she does, Suzanne, if you're watching this and you don't want to be surprised, stop watching. <laughs> just in case you're watching. <laughs> Anyway, this is it. She and I are fellow Snoopy lovers. I think she likes the Beatles. Isn't that cute? And again, she is a tote bag. She likes tote bags too. And so, yeah, I asked them to um, personalize it. Susanna, isn't that nice, that bordering around? And then it's the red to complement the um, Beatles, you know, drum ring. So that was hers. And then I have a friend in Singapore. <clears throat> she, I got to know her. Oh, gosh. It's almost been 10 years now, almost, um, that I got to know her. And she actually came. Um, I got to know her through my blog when I was actively blogging from, what, 2010 to about 2015 or 16. Um, and she weighs her name and she and I both, she's a teacher as well. She and I both love Shakespeare. And so I got her this, if music be the food of love, play on. I thought she would appreciate it. And it's an international shipping thing. So I figure these tote bags, very light to ship. And so I'll be able to ship that without too much, um, problems and then M and Tony added enough of these so that I can clip it to each of these tote bags and what I like to do is let me show you actually hold on as you know I use these clips very sparingly these you know special you know um, shaped clips and I actually don't use them for my papers um, even though I thought I would I haven't used any here but I did use one here. And so the doggy and the coffee ones are the packs that I'm going through now. But what I use them for is I'll use them to clip one of these instruction care um, cards to the tote bag itself. And so depending, I know she really likes coffee and tea, so I'll probably use the coffee one for her. But I know Jonah and Connor and Suzanne would, oh, Suzanne would actually like the coffee, but Jonah and Connor would certainly like the little doggy paper clips. So that's kind of what I use those for. Um, and the last one that I got, of course, taking me back to the first order that I placed with them is the Jane Austen one. Um, and I had her print this graphic in just classic black, although you can choose which color you want. And I selected the Pride and Prejudice one, 1813. This is actually going to one of my little church students who is no longer with me. She's at college, Wellesley College, Grace Park. And she has a really special place in my heart. Um, I helped her study. <laughs> um, one of the benefits that I think I can give to my church youth kids especially those who really want it and would like to, you know, utilize it, is to give them kind of the access to my expertise in terms of SAT prep, college admissions, and then, you know, onward. And so she was one of those students that I had told her, um, if you apply to my college, my alma mater, I can certainly write you a letter of recommendation. And 
I had forgotten that with private schools, a letter from an alum carries quite a bit of weight. And so we were so, you know, like excited and thrilled that God had blessed her with entrance into Wellesley. And so um, she's there right now. And last Christmas as a gift, I think it was last Christmas or maybe two Christmases ago, she knows that I love Jane Austen. And so she, sweet girl, had purchased me one of the editions of the complete works of Jane Austen, which that edition is actually in my office. Um, but yeah, so um, she and I have Jane Austen. I don't know necessarily if she loves Jane Austen as I do, but we have that in common and she knows she appreciates Jane Austen certainly so I thought I would give that to her and it's a tote bag that she could certainly carry around with pride around Wellesley campus and I'm sure she'd get lots of oohs and ahs so got that for her for Christmas now the other um the other four and I'm only going to show you two this is totally the handiwork of or I should say the masterpiece of Tony who is the master engraver. So a while back, they had gotten me this beautiful, um, you know what, I'll actually show it to you, hold on. All right, so I don't think this is on their shop, but I think certainly um, Tony is one of those guys who can, you know, engrave things um, if you ask him to do like a special whatever, but they had sent me this. You have armed me with strength for the battle. This is from Psalm 18, because they knew that I was going to need all the strength that I could, um, you know, muster for this battle ahead. And this was such a complete surprise and such a blessing. And when they order this, um, it comes with this twine string that you can actually adjust the length. So I have mine really long, but if you want, it could be really short. And that just means that you would just tie the knot closer, right? But I thought it was such a beautiful workmanship, and it's one that is very unisex. You can give it to a woman, you can give it to a man, you can give it to a family, and so on. And so one of the things that I like to do come Christmas is to give a gift to the senior pastor. And up until last Christmas, my parents were the senior pastor and wife, and so... Um, I give them my undying love and among other things, but um, the gifting was usually, I would say, for the associate pastor. Um, and then now that we have another senior, pa like a new senior pastor, and my dad has stepped down, the senior pastor does everything, and then the associate pastor has moved on to start his own church. So um, what I wanted to do, though, was certainly do this. So... Um, I, I saw this and I asked, can you personalize it? And Tony said, sure. And so as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24, 15. And then I had them engrave the Park family. And so this is what it comes in. And then they get to put the twine together as is. So um, there were three families that I wanted to get this for. So... Actually, if I'm honest, there were a lot more families I wanted to get them for. But um, I think for right now, I settled with um, three families at church. Um, I was tempted to get one for my youngest sister and her family, but I don't know if they would find it more of a... Um, it may not fit their style, so... But this is, I think, where the sticker was, and so you have that peeled off. So what I'll do is I'll wrap it up, and then I'll put like a little tag that says, do not open until Christmas. So this is going to my senior pastor. And then um, the other one that I wanted to show you that's of a different design is this one. And I can freely show you this because none of my friends outside of... Actually, none of my friends, I don't think, watch this, watch this um, in real life, I mean. I don't think any of my friends in the LA area watch my YouTube channel. And I like it that way. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even think my family members other than my youngest sister once in a while watch my YouTube channel. But I want to get this. We walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. And it's just this gorgeous. And I had um, Tony engrave it, the Joe family. And this is actually going to one of my dearest friends, um, I've known her since I was in medical school, and we joke around saying she followed me back out to the West, 
um, when we graduated. I graduated grad school because at that time I had left medical school and she right around that same time graduated from medical school and so her residency was done out here in California and so we joke around that she followed me out west. Um, but I was the maid of honor for her wedding and um, she's just a very dear sister in Christ. She came late to the faith. Um, well not late but I think she was 18 or 19 when she accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior. And so, yeah, I wanted to get this for her family, though. And so I um, got that one. So anyway, as you can see by the variety of items that are in this particular haul, um, there are a lot of things you can find at um, and Tony's shop. So I hope for those of you who are looking to... Um, get some really nice, especially personalized um, gifts for friends and family. Um, I think you may find it well worth your while to check out their store, kind of browse through and see what's what. Um, you guys know I'm constantly, even though I buy all these tote bags, I mean, they go to people that, um, you know for gifting purposes and such. So anyway, um, I hope this gives you guys an idea. Um, if you do end up ordering with them in the notes, just let them know that you found out about them through YouTube or through Gracie 21. Um, if you look actually on the review of their, um, Etsy shop, they just have really great customer service. I think I was reading through it. I don't think anyone has left them a negative comment and usually I don't leave reviews, um, just... I just forget or it's too time consuming or whatnot, but I wanted to leave some reviews certainly on M and Tony's shop um, because these are items that they carry quite a bit. And so um, if you see reviews by Grace, you'll know that that's me. But anyway, I wanted to share these with you. Hopefully, if you do shop, you have fun. If nothing else, your eyes will be quite pleased by all the eye candy in their shop. And so, yeah. Anyway, stay tuned. Um, I may do something fun later on with their particular shop. Hold some sort of a giveaway. So I hope that is of interest. Leave me a comment down in the video if a giveaway um, to M and Tony's shop is something that you guys would definitely be interested in. Um, certainly, I think that would be fun to share my love of their shop with you guys. So anyway... That is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And one last look at this. Isn't this so darling? Ah, oh, so cute. Anyway, so thank you. I will be back with some happy mail and a D stash. And I think that's it. So hope you guys are doing well. I today am feeling better. Yesterday, which was Sunday, it was Holy Ween, and um, my youth kids had their monthly Bible quiz tournament. Um, praise God, I had. A lot of energy for Sunday because Saturday I was just not feeling well but yeah so I'm feeling a little bit better certainly so that's why I'm here to share this with you right so hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will be back with another video until then take care bye everyone God bless <laughs>